What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jonathan Thing. I'm going to do welcome you back to some more Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. And in the latest episode of this drastically crazy series, we unfortunately had another death. And I'm fudging mad. And I'm like mad beyond compare, guys, because Negabar is dead. I was actually starting to be okay with him, okay, being a robot. But no, 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 no. We can't have that. Because, you know, if we have that, then that's just, uh-oh, ready to happen. And it's just like, no, don't take away my boy, okay? Well, let's, we got to figure out and investigate what the heck's going on. And I'm upset, and I'm not happy. And an enormous hammer has been carelessly left on the floor. It's like, it's suspicious because it stands out so much. How cool. Perhaps that hammer is the weapon that broke Nekamaru. I do believe the weapon of that size is capable of damaging Nekamaru. This hammer is the weapon, but it looks a little too clean. It's almost like it's new or something. Uh-huh. Also, no? where did the killer obtain such a hammer? Prior to now, I do not believe I've ever seen that object anywhere else. Was it hidden somewhere? Good point. There was no supermarket in here, so I wonder how they were able to obtain it. We have obtained a truth bullet and leveled up. New looking hammer has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. Akane, I need to talk to you. Did you find anything? Looks like you haven't found anything yet. We need the clues, and I'll remember something just so wait for it. Hmm. It looks like it's gonna be a little hard. Oh, I remember. There is something I thought was weird. Hmm. It happened earlier this morning. You, you're going back that far? Come on, you noticed it too, right? You heard the rumbling sound. Rumbling? Kablam! What was that sound just now? Was that an earthquake? But it didn't feel like, it didn't feel the ground move. I guess I'm just thinking too much. Um, I was sleeping pretty heavy, so I wouldn't think about how hungry I was, and that noise woke me up. And I ran out of my room without thinking, and after I did that, then what happened? Hmm. I didn't see anything, and it looked like the others didn't come out of their rooms either. I felt pretty dumb for being the only one who came out, so I went back to my room and fell asleep. Stop. In the end, I never found out what that sound was, but it's been in my mind for a while, you know? Now that you mention it, it does seem a little strange. Just, what was that sound? Hmm. You don't know either? Well... I should tell you more in detail. When I ran out of my room, I happened to glance at the lounge clock. It said it was around 5.30 a.m. Will you be able to find out anything with that info? I didn't think the rumbling noise happened that early in the morning, but I'm also not really sure if that noise pertains to the incident or not. Hmm. Why? What the hell? I went through all the trouble of remembering that and you got nothing. Jeez, you're so damn useless. She's getting agitated. Well, I mean, it is understandable. Ikane's account has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. Nekamaru's dead body and it's cruelly broken. It looks like it has been severely damaged that even his head was dented. Th that, that'd be a fatal wound, White. But, but Nekamaru's robot body should not should have been dur durable enough to withstand any assault. For Nekamaru to be damaged, it can only mean whoever attacked Nekamaru did not hold back. Now, now it's probably not the time to think about this, but I guess Nekamaru would really transformed into this robot, huh? I was getting used to the idea, but now I think that about it, robots are definitely unusual. Well, it didn't matter if he was a robot or not. Either way, Nekamaru was still killed. Yup. Mm. It's definitely strange, isn't it? Hmm, what is? Well, If they wanted to kill him, they could have just destroyed his head. Why did they destroy his entire body, too? Maybe they didn't know how to kill a robot, so they damaged him all over? You? But they went against Coach Nekamaru! He ain't the type to die easily! They obviously didn't fight him head on, but even then, he wouldn't leave himself open to an attack. You're right. In fact, that's the biggest mystery of it all. Nekamaru was stronger after he became a robot. I can't think of anyone who would be capable of killing him. Anyway, there isn't a list alone isn't enough information, so I should investigate more thoroughly. Huh? There's something protruding from behind Nekamaru's neck. That's right. It's a cutting edge function that puts my other functions to sleep, even if I have insomnia. Just press the good night button on the back of my neck and I'll be forced to enter sleep mode. Maybe the killer pressed the button and made Nekamaru enter sleep mode. But still, it's hard to think the killer would be able to press that button on the back of Nekamaru's neck. Even if Nekamaru was ambushed, it still wouldn't be easy. Good night button has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. The cover on his chest opened slightly, but it won't open much because the cover was all messed up. 
If only Kazuichi was here, he might be able to open it. Yeah, Kazuichi was probably the one that did this shoop in the first place. Don't even talk to him. Jeez, what the heck could I be even doing right now? Or could he be even doing? Yeah, probably just worried about dying. There's a sturdy metal wire tied to Nekamaru's left leg. The same wire tied to his arms. It's almost like he was bound up or something. But even if they were bound up, the killer still had to deal with a robotic Nekamaru first. Who did this? And how were they able to buy Nekamaru? Also, the tip of this wire. It looks like it was tied in a loop, but... What was the point of that? Metal wires out of the truth gold section of your handbook. Is that it? There's still something that caught my eye. Oil. There it is. The fluid out of flowing out of Nekamaru's body. Based on the smell, it seems like oil. But it seems to be flowing the heaviest from Nekamaru's head, probably because that's where the fatal blow was dealt. That was this oil. For Nekamaru, this might be similar to the normal blood in humans, which means all this oil is just a pool of robot blood. Anyway, that's a whole lot of oil. It isn't going to be easy to clean up. No, now's not the time to worry about that. Oil on the floor has been out of the truth code section. I guess that is for now. That is it for now. All I can do is investigate. That's all I can do for investigating Nekamaru's body. Yes. And we need to talk to Chiaki because it's the only person I don't remember talking to. Huh? huh? What's this? Did you find something, Chiaki? Well? Um, under Nekamaru's body. No, wait. There's a small rock-like fragment underneath Me Nekamaru's body. You didn't need to correct yourself like that. And what do you mean by a rock-like fragment? See? Here, look. There's a lot of small fragments like this that fell in Nekamaru's body. Well? But oddly enough, those fragments are underneath Nekamaru's body. There are hardly any on top of his body at all. What's strange about that? Is there a problem that they're not on top of his body too? Yep. If you don't know, it probably means they're not impor that important. Huh? Well, if you put it like that, now I can't help but think that they're important. Pillar Fragments has been added to the Truth Bullet section of the handbook. Wall. Along the tower floor, there appears to be many lights built on the illuminating floor of the wall. Because of these lights, the walls and interior design of the tower look green. However, because these lights are shining on the walls and the ceiling is pretty dark, I can't see any of it. There's nothing strange about the lights, so they probably have nothing to do with this case. The pillar. There's nothing strange about this pillar. Broken pillar. Okay, there we go. That's what I was looking for. The pillar next to the door is tipped over and broken. Did this pillar break when it fell over? Not just that. There's a strange liquid in the upper section of the pillar. It, this is Nekamaru's oil. This is the only the. This is the pillar. Only pillar that tipped over. The other one was still standing. Plus, behind me is the door to Great Hall. The two pillars on each side of that door haven't changed either. They are not tipped over. It's strange that the pillars only one. Or that this pillar is the only one that tipped over. I mean, it must mean something. I see. I got it. Got what? It to me. The pillar is the weapon. The killer used that to beat up Coach Nekamaru. This huge pillar? If you got socked by something else, something like this, even Coach Nekamaru wouldn't stand a chance. Well, yeah, that is impossible. they would be too heavy to wield as a weapon. Now Hayame, grab that end over there. Huh? We have to try. Obviously, come on, hurry up. Fine. Jeez, you're more forceful than usual today. It's no use. It's barely budging. Didn't I tell you? All right. If that's how it's gonna be, my body can take it. Power. Time. No, seriously, just give up already. Why? It's no use. It won't even budge. If two people can't move this pillar, then it's impossible to use it as a bludgeoning weapon. Hmm. Well, there's one person who could have lifted something like this. Robo Coach Nekamaru. He's definitely the only one. Tipped over pillow pillar has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. There might be still things for me to investigate. Have we talked to Sonia yet? I see. Um, I see. In this case, Monica must file. There's nothing, no written time of death, right? Didn't it happen when Ibuki? Didn't that happen when Ibuki and Hiyoko died too? Oh, did it? 
the, but the only reason, the reason the time of death wasn't mentioned when the two died was because the time of death was the key to the mystery surrounding their murder. Could that be that this case this time, the case this time too? By the way, I would like to confirm something. This, confirm this just in case. Ultimately, is it safe to assume that Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower are in the same building? Well, that's the only thing we could think of. Even when we experimented with Chiaki's handbook and left Grape Tower, it still showed up in Strawberry Tower. Which means... The reason each tower's wall is different colors is because the floor lighting changes the colors. And the reason Usami's floor portrait is different in each tower is because it's merely a projection. Yeah, that should be the case. Then, then it is decided the two towers are the same building, which means the scene of the crime is simultaneously Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower. Grape and Strawberry Tower are the same building. How does that pertain to Nekamaru's murder? Oh, I didn't notice that. Okay. What is this? The door that a door at the far back has a chain wrapped around the doorknob. Looks like it's a sturdy heavy metal chain. It's wrapped around the doorknob from every direction, and it even has a padlock on it. Why did they do something like this? Perhaps it was used as an alternative to locking the door with the key. If that's the case, you wouldn't be able to enter from the Strawberry Hall side. After all, this door should lead to the Strawberry Hall. You are right. If they barred this side of the door with a ah! if they barred this side of the door with a chain, it would be impossible to open it from Strawberry Hall. But still, why would they need to bar the door from Strawberry Hall? Because they they were doing it from Strawberry Hall, so it's probably one of the guys, aka Kazuichi. I'm hard on Kazuichi right now, and I know I should apologize, but if it's not him, I guess for now I've checked out everything in this place because it's caught my attention. What was it? You seem to have lost your train of thought. Well, the final dead room. The final dead room. What the heck? Why are you bringing up a place like that all of a sudden? So... Well, the hammer on the floor, the chain wrapped around the door at the far back, and the wire that tied up Nick and Mekamaru. Is all evidence that this crime consists of things that we've never seen inside this building, doesn't it? But as long as we can't leave, there's no doubt that they came from somewhere within this building. And that's why you mentioned the final dead room, isn't it? Monokuma said beyond that room was an ultimate weapon in a place called the Octagon. Yep. Yeah, so I think if we think that place is like an armory, then that's where the killer obtained their tools, right? Then... So let's go confirm it. No, that's dangerous. If you go in there, you have to play a life-threatening game. Well? Then I'll be the one who tries to confirm it. Huh? Well, what are you saying? You were the one who said that that place was dangerous, right? You? Man, it's noisy. I can't focus with all this noise. So, so sorry. Not like that. Hmm, it's not you guys. It's the sound that's been ringing since the investigation started. A ringing sound? Since this investigation, before the investigation. That reminds me, you've been mentioning that sound for a while, haven't you? Hey, hey. Akane, what kind of sound is it? It's like a high-pitched alarm clock sound. It's probably ringing from upstairs. Could it be? Maybe it's better that we go check it out. Or check out that sound first. Hmm, are you gonna check it out? Then you guys go. I'll stay here. Then... I shall wait here as well. Please be careful, you two. Sonia, it's okay, but... How come you're not going, Akane? Hey. Well, that sound is annoying, so I don't really feel like leaving. Hey, hey. Hi, Hi, Emily. It's okay if it's just the two of us. Come on, Akane. Said she wants to be here. Huh? Oh, I get it. She she doesn't want to leave Nekamaru's side. I don't know if she actually is aware of that or not. Yep. Let's go, Hayame. Yeah, if you say so. Time to figure out what's going on with that alarm clock. We don't have very many truth bullets yet, so... Unfortunately... They said it was upstairs. Oh, it's the phone. Jeez, it's so noisy. Looks like that phone is ringing. The phone, huh? I guess I'll answer it. Yeah, that's what I was hearing. It's not the alarm clock, it's the phone. Let's see, just pick up the receiver and press the strawberry button, right? Click. Damn right. Oh, you finally answered. 
That voice, it's Fuyuhiko. Jeez. Jeez, do you know how long that phone was ringing? I was worried that no one was going to pick up. But what are you guys doing? Are you still inside the strawberry house? Why? Even if we wanted to go over there, we can't. It looks like someone broke the damn elevator. It's not moving at all. We can't enter from the strawberry hall because the door button uh, there is broken too. So basically, we're sitting ducks here. Not only is the elevator broken, but the strawberry hall door is broken hey, too. Bastard. Hey, are you listening? Y yeah, I'm listening. Anyway, everyone from Strawberry Hall is safe, right? Well. We're safe, but we can't find Nekamaru anywhere. Do you know anything? Didn't you hear the body discovery announcement from earlier? Damn it. So that what it was what it was. Shit. Why did it have to be Nekamaru? He just came back to us. Where was he killed? Grape Tower. I, when I went there this morning, he was I already... See. I see. Grape Tower. If the door to Strawberry Hall wasn't broken, we'd be able to enter the tower and... Holy shit, that's it! The killer broke the elevator and the strawberry hall door so that they could split everyone up and prevent us from doing a proper investigation. Dumbass. Damn it, that dirty bastard. What What about another way? Is there any way you guys can come oh, inside yeah. from this side? I guess we'll just have to let Kazuichi handle it. He's not going to because he's the one that broke it in the first place. He said he'd take care of the elevator, but I guess he's the only hope right now. You're right. Besides, if he doesn't stand out now, uh, when the hell will he, right? Based on what Kazuichi said, it's going to be hard for him to fix the strawberry hall door without parts. He said he might be able to do something about the broken elevator, though. We'll be waiting. Are you guys going to be okay? Damn right. Yeah, well, we'll head over to as soon as Kazuichi fixes this elevator. Until then, it's up to you bastards. Hey, hey. So the call was from the strawberry house. Apparently, the others can't come to the other side of the door because the elevator is broken. There's no doubt that it's the, this is, is the killer's dealing, doing. They must have prevented others from coming to the crime scene. As long as the elevator's out of commission, those guys won't be able to investigate at all. But that's not all. For some reason, the door to the strawberry hall is broken too. Huh? The door button to the strawberry hall? Mm. Then that door is blocked from both sides. There's a sturdy chain tied around it from the inside of the button and or inside, and if the button is also broken from the outside, then yeah, that seems to be the case. Mm. Hmm, why did the killer both block both sides of the door? I'm not sure, but there is something strange about that. Um, I would like to investigate that in more detail, but if they can't come over here, then we can't go over there. Yep. Which means, for now, it's impossible to check the final dead room. I'm not entirely comfortable with you. I'm not entirely comfortable with you going over there, but regardless, it's impossible now anyway. Apparently, Kazuichi is repairing the elevator, though, and all we can do is move forward and put our hope in him. You're right. But Monokuma is not going to wait, so I doubt we have much time before the class trial starts. I hope Kazuichi can fix it soon, because if not... Hey, hey. Uh, are you even listening? Hey, bastard. Hey, are you listening? Damn right. Nagido, I'm talking to you. No, we're playing... Are we playing as Nagido right now? Oh, God. Huh? Jeez. Don't harm me. I figured you weren't even listening. Sorry. I was just thinking. Hm. Psh, you are probably just think, thinking of something messed up, weren't you? Ah, oh, but I have been listening to you. Nekamaru was killed, right? That body discovery announcement was referring to him. Damn it. Psh, out of everyone here, it had to be Nekamaru. Damn it. After he went through all this to come back to us. Damn it. It's tantamounts to be killed twice mm, truly he was a man burdened with a terrible misfortune hey okay but um so now the situation over there is all right so i'll go ahead and fix the elevator uh is it all right if you wait a little bit before you do that we should did you call for me get the monokuma file right oh my gosh uh, it seems you guys have noticed that an incident has taken place, so look, here you go. This is for you. Red bean bread and milk. And there's a bonus item. It's the Monokuma file. Do your best. Come on. Satisfy your hunger with this and do your very best on the investigation. What? Why is the Monokuma file being treated like a bonus item? <sighs> Whatever, man. Let's just eat. Eating is going to be the first thing that should come right now. You're right. You're right. It's only you guys. It's okay if you guys eat, but can you hear me out while you're at it? What, do you what is that? Well, 
I was thinking about what we should do, and I, I, I wanted to discuss it. Even so. Thanks to the killer, we can't even go to the crime scene. What, we have to wait till Kazuichi fixes the elevator. True. There's no doubt that the killer is responsible. But it seems as though they made a huge mistake. There's no way that Symbols of Hope will give up because of a little setback. There's no way that everyone will just cross their arms and wait for the crash trial to start. We need to do everything that we can possibly do to prepare for this class trial, right? Well, yeah. It seems that we shall too begin our investigation on our RN, though it remains unclear how much we can actually do. <laughs> Is this acceptable if I show my serious side? Things will not end up like mere child's play. Ah, uh, I'm so glad you knew you guys were pumped up for the start. How beautiful. Even though you guys are suffering from despair, I can see you guys still fighting the, for the hope. Ah, uh, such beauty. There's no higher honor from me than to investigate the murder with you guys. So we need to great, be grateful towards Nekamaru for becoming the foundation upon this hope. Well, regardless... Whose side should I be on for this case? The killer or the rest of you guys? I must make sure I face the mis case's mystery properly if I'm gonna find out which side is true hope. Ha 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 Oh! Hey, you guys. Why don't we try arranging the sequence of events in this case? You know, so we can properly understand the situation that we're in? Fine. I have no objection. Proceed. Then let's look back at what has happened this morning. We tried to use the elevator so we could participate in Monokuma's Tai Chi, right? Damn right. Since we were staying at Strawberry House, in order for us to get to the meeting spot at Grape Tower, we needed to get to the elevator first and go to the Grape House. That was before 7 a.m., and since that was right before Monokuma Tai Chi. Man. Once we realized the elevator was disabled, I seriously panicked. Anyway. And since we couldn't do anything about it, we just tried to go inside from the Strawberry Hall. But when we actually got there, the button to the hall was broken. Thanks to that, we couldn't enter the tower at all. <laughs> so Fuyuga suggested that we use the phone to call the Grape House. Ah, oh, that was everything outside. that had happened this morning. I must, I must say, I am surprised. I never expected that the elevator would be disabled. But then how was Nekamaru able to go to Grape Tower? Man. Well, obviously he went there before the elevator was disabled. And then what? You. Idiot, if I knew that, it wouldn't be difficult. Well, No, we might know what time you went to Grape Tower. Are you serious? Huh, seriously? I... It was around sunrise when I first saw him get going down to the first floor. What? You mean you personally witnessed Nekamaru going to Grape Tower? Hey, hey. When was sunrise? Was that when the rumbling sound happened? Uh, the rumbling sound? Huh? What? You don't remember? Right after the clock in the lounge started ringing, we heard a rumbling sound. Did that clock even ring in the first place? Hey, hey, hey! You didn't notice it either? Seriously, it was super, super loud! Huh? Well, that's weird. Hmm. I feel like we're not quite on the same wavelength. Well, it is what it is. There's no way you guys will ever be the same wavelength as trash like me. Huh? It looks like this leading is leading to an interesting development, though. The night you must have been in a deep slumber last night to not notice the alarm and that rumbling noise. <laughs> hmm, I see. You must have been possessed by a wandering succubus for you to avoid being snatched away to the world of the dead. <laughs> I knew you had the devil's luck. Well, my luck is my only good quality. Hey, you said you witnessed Nekamaru at sunrise, right? Can you explain that to me in a little bit more detail? I... I was hungry yesterday, so I couldn't sleep. I figured that nearly it was nearly morning, so I went back to check the clock in the lounge. It turns out I was totally off, and it was only still around 5 a.m. Hey. And then, when it, that's what had happened. I heard a sound from the door closing off in the distance. When I stuck my head out of the lounge, hmm. I said Nekamaru was back, and he was going down to the first floor. I thought about running after him, but I didn't want or didn't have the energy or willpower to do it. Shh. If I knew something like this would happen, I would have mustered the strength to follow him. Hey, hey. But why would Nekamaru wander off so early in the morning? I... 
I was wondering that too. I mean, I already knew he wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna sleep, get any sleep. So I just sat in the lounge and started, or stared off into space for no real reason and waited for him to come back. Jeez. And then when the clock in the lounge started ringing, thanks to that loud alarm, I completely forgot Nekamaru until just now. Then from the time you saw Nekamaru until the alarm rang, you were in the lounge the whole time, right? But what were you doing during that time? By chance, were you thinking about everything that had happened so far to get choked, get, what? get getting choked up? What? Huh? Was I right? Of course not, asshole. You're completely wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. And then I thought, and I thought you were reminiscing about Pekko or something, but that can't be right. After all, you already know how pointless it is to cling to memories of the dead. Fuyahiko's account has been added to the truth blood section of the handbook. Hey, Kazuichi, if you don't mind, can you inform me? The stuff about the rumbling noise and the ringing clock, what was that all about? No. Seriously, you don't know? Oh, you're so kind, Kazuichi. Thank you for actually taking the time to explain it to uh. me. Ah, uh, fine, so that's how it is. Fine, I'll tell you. It happened last night. I was sleeping peacefully in my room when all of a sudden I heard a strange huge sound. Ring. <laughs> well, what the hell? That sound was super loud, so I rushed out of my room. And I went down to the hall towards the lounge. Hey, hey what are you doing? This oh. It's louder than the supreme ruler of the netherworld bellowing for a sacrifice. Don't go making all that noise so suddenly. It's not me. The wall clock just started ringing. I was just trying to stop it. Then hurry up and stop it already. I, I, I know I'm in the middle of doing that. And then that's when the sounds finally stopped. Uh, Man, it totally freaked me out. Well, I was definitely wide awake then. What did you do to me? My mental defenses were bombarded with the sonic resonance. You! Fuyu Hiko, was this not your doing just now? Shut up! Why would anyone be doing something so childish? Huh? You must have been. You must have rushed over hearing that sound, but you seemed like to get there pretty fast. Well, yeah. Well, I didn't rush over here, but I was at the lounge by coincidence. Coincidence, hmm. Huh? Well, what, do you doubt me? Hey. Whatever, I really don't give a crap. It's 5.30 in the morning. Oh, man. man, thanks to Fujiko, I woke up early for no reason. I should go back to sleep. Blam. Huh? Hmm, what was that sound? What's going on? Earthquake! This pressure. It did not feel like it shook. Hey, 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 There's hey, no hey, way hey. the building is going to collapse, right? Hey. Hey, Kazuichi, stop clinging to me. Hmm. And then it happened. I see... So you were the one clinging to Fuyuhiko. That's, obviously That's not the important wrong. part. And what happened afterwards? Did you guys just separate? Hey. We decided to wait things out, but in the end of the day, nothing else happened. Also. And now, not just that, we felt really weak, so we decided to go back to our rooms for a while. Hmm, I see. Yep, what you said now is extremely important. Thanks to that, I've thought of one suspicious person. What? Who are you talking about? Me, of course. Huh? I mean, isn't it strange? I was the only one who didn't notice the alarm. That was so, so loud. Everyone came out of their rooms. Well, that same goes for the rumbling noise that you guys heard after that, right? Why, you... Hey, you better not be trying to confuse the shit out of us. Of course I'm not. For now, anyway. Hey, hey, hey! That for now line is making it even more worried. Anyway... It seems like there's no doubt that you, what you guys just told me was a very important clue. The wall clock alarm you heard first, the rumbling noise that came after. Now then, do you hear those noises? Do those noises relate to this case? Wall clock has been out of the truth bullet section of the handbook. Yep, I get it now. Thanks to everyone's detailed information, I'm slowly starting to get a grasp of this situation. If I put the events in chronological order, Fuyuhiko witnessed Nekomaru at 5 a.m. And that's the time that Nekomaru apparently went down to the first floor. At 5.30 a.m., the alarm clock in the lounge started ringing. When that happened, you two woke up and left your rooms to the lounge where Fuyuhiko was. And right after that, you heard a strange rumbling sound that didn't quite make sense. Let's make history. Now that I think about it, something might have happened to Nekomaru during that noise. If so... 
That must have been Nekamaru's final scream before he breathed his last. Hmm. Hold on, if Nekamaru died when, when, when we heard that sound, doesn't that mean that we have an alibi? Alibi? I mean... When we heard the rumbling noise, we were at the lounge, you know? If that was when the killer was murdered... All right, when the killer ne murdered Nekamaru, then we have a solid alibi. I get it. Can't argue with that. Hmm, it might be too soon to declare that just yet. We can't be certain unless we clear up the mystery surrounding that rumbling noise. Hmm, a rumbling noise, huh? Did something heavy fall over or something? Also, based on what everyone just told me, there's another thing that I'm curious about. You all heard the alarm clock go off in the lounge just before the rumble. What do you suppose this means? Hey, haven't we talked enough? I really think I should repair the elevator soon. Oh my, you're still here? Huh? Once the elevator is fixed, I'm not going to let you anywhere near it. And so Kazuichi ran down the stairs, complaining for some reason. So what should we do now? Ah, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. After the elevator is fixed, there's something I want you to investigate. What is it? The clocks in the first floor lounges of both Grape House and Strawberry House. Right after that, you heard a strange rumbling sound that didn't quite make sense. Uh -huh. huh? Why? I'll tell you later. Hey, bastard. But fine, but why are you asking me? Can you investigate that yourself? I would investigate it myself, but by the time the elevator is fixed, there's a chance I might not be with you all anymore. Uh huh? Anyways, I'm counting on you. Psh, this bastard's not making any sense. Now then, here comes the main event. There's only one thing I can do for them. I can go to that place for everyone's sake. I can't force them into that danger, so I must be the pariah that goes in their place. That's it. I should investigate one more time before I head over there. The elevator and the door that far back in the strawberry hall. Just in case, it might be good to check and make sure that they are really blocked off. This is feels gross. Playing as Nagito feels very gross. If I press the button next to the elevator, the door should open it so I can ride it. But nothing happened when I pressed it, so it looks like it is definitely broken. Hey, what are you doing? You're getting in the way of my repairs. Hey, why did the elevator break in the first place? Oh, the killer malfunctioned the safety device. Look, you can see the silver cover under the button. It looks like there's an elevator control panel that they probably opened up and messed with the settings. But the cover is locked, so they wouldn't be able to open it unless they had some kind of tool. Hmm... Are there any tools in this building? Uh. No, there shouldn't be. I don't really know how they forced open the tool or forced it open with a tool anyway. The control panel on this side wasn't the one that was forced open. See, it's the control panel on the grape house side that was broken yeah. there. If the one on that side isn't broken, the only thing I can think of is I'm pretty sure that there should be a control panel over there too. Plus, the elevator is stuck in Grape House's side. Um wouldn't that mean that the last person who used the elevator went to the grape house? Uh. Yep, it's official. The elevator was disabled on that Hi. other side. Hey, I don't want to talk to you. Hurry up and go away. Ooh. Jeez, I'm just trying to do repairs without any tools. No matter how much I get, it won't be enough. If you don't have any tools, why don't you use this? Huh? Hmm? Whoa! Isn't that a multi-tool? Where'd you get something like that? Uh, I had it with me before we arrived on the fourth island. If we're going to explore a new island, it is essential to bring this kind of equipment, right? Are you serious? The guy like you has been walking around with a dangerous tool this whole time? Huh? Is there something wrong, Kazuichi? Uh. <laughs> it's nothing. Uh, then I'll let you have this. Your repairs might go faster now, right? But in exchange, I want you to do something. Huh? What? The multi-tool has a compass. After the elevator is fixed, I want you to ride the elevator and see where this compass reacts. What the hell? What the hell for? Well, to be honest, there is something I still don't understand regarding the structure of this building. So please, I really need this information to find out the relationship between the building and the elevator. Huh? I don't really get it, but well, as long as I'm doing, all I'm doing is just checking a compass, I don't mind. I'm, well, I'm glad 
Then I'll leave the rest to you. Elevator has been added to the Truth Blood section of the handbook. And unfortunately, we have to go check the final dead room. First, I should investigate the elevator door that at the far back of Strawberry Hall. I can confirm myself that it was actually... What? Aha! It's the Strawberry Hall door that leads to the tower. The button is broken, so there's no way that it will open. As I recall, based on what Fuhiko told Hayame over the phone, the other side of the door is barred with chains. They must have been really cautious to go through all the trouble of barring the door from both sides. Something about it seems a little suspicious. History. The killer's intent. I can only think of one explanation. Ah, Gundam. <laughs> Perhaps they intend to keep me from entering the crime scene. Well. Which means the killer was afraid, afraid of my conclusion promised by my assumptions. Ah, yeah. That was probably it. Strawberry Hall's button has been added to the truthful section of your handbook. Just as I thought there was no mistaking it. The elevator and the strawberry hall door looks like they are completely broken. I didn't expect the contact elevator elevator to be disabled from the grape house, though. As long as it's disabled, there's no way to move between the houses. Which means that the person who disabled the elevator would be stuck at Grape House. That person, they should be still at Grape House, but no, it's too soon to form an answer. But I won't be too late to find an answer, even if I finish investigating that room. If they're at Grape Hall, who could who could have done it? The final dead room. Only those who win the life-threatening game contain will reach the octagon. And inside the octagon, the ultimate weapon awaits. There's no doubt that Nekomaru's killer has been to that place. No matter where I search, there's no weapons anywhere in this building. And regardless of the weapon used to kill Nekomaru, the killer must have obtained it there. If that's the case, I should get going. And unlike everyone else, I don't mind dying at all. That's more of a reason why I should be the one to go. I see. So this is the final dead room. Feels a little eerie, but I hope I don't get scared. Quack. Did that door just lock? I see. So the door is designed to automatically lock. It's not... I, it's not... I would have turned back if it stayed unlocked. Oh, uh, oh, 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 I thought the door finally opened! Now it's locked again! I figured you would turn up since I haven't seen you in a while. But I never expected you in here. Yeah. Nanagino! Uh -huh. Why are you in a, such a dangerous place? Same to you. Why are you here? I... I I heard the body discovery announcement, and I thought something happened in this room. And you locked yourself in, when you came inside. You f you're a fool from head to toe. <laughs> I am truly ashamed. Well, not that I care. Just make sure you don't get in my way. Um... Get in your way. The life-threatening game. It's going to start soon, right? It'd be annoying if you got in my way. Uh, are you p p planning to do it? Well, if I don't, I can't get out of here, right? And besides, the only way to trash like me can be useful is by risking my life for everyone's sake. That's wrong. You're wrong, Nagino. You're not trash at all. There's no such thing as a human being who doesn't deserve to live. I know I'm being heartwarming right now, but my heart is super scared and pounding like crazy. Are you sure you're not excited? You know, isn't it exciting to think that I can finally be useful for the sake of those who shoulder hope? Now then, about the so-called life-threatening game. Escape. Alrighty. Now you know, if there's anything you don't get, just ask me. By all means, I can help make sure you would get out of here. <laughs> Bring it on, escape game! Sounds like there's something a teacher would say, but I shouldn't expect too much from her. This must be unlocking a device for the iron bars. I probably need to get a four-digit passport. I have a secret plan. If you input nine nine all input nine hundred thousand nine hundred ninety nine combinations, it'll open eventually. You're right, but it doesn't seem there are any buttons for inputting a password. Uh oh! It must 
it looks like it might be under the lid, but it doesn't seem to open. Not just that. That. What's this red light on the top of the device? There's something under the bed. Hmm, I can't reach it, but this bed looks like it's the bed looks like it's fixed to the floor. I can't even I can't even move it. There's something thin and long. This is a Monokuma plushie. To punish you guys? Hmm? Looks like this plushie talks if he squeezes his tummy. Thrills, chills, kills. Now for the special price of only ten thousand dollars. An advertisement. Pliers, huh? This might be useful. I should grab it. Obtain a plier. These of the week are probably the password. I doubt it's that. Uncompress or uncompress password. Alrighty. Let's first start by thoroughly searching all the stuff in this room. There should be some useful stuff Got in it? here. Do you very much to search through everything? I see, so you intend to do nothing. Um, um yeah, I know she does that a lot, apparently. Hanger might be useful. Five. We have a problem. This iron fire is blocking the door. Well, as long as we don't do as long as we don't do something about these bars I won't be able to reach the escape room for those of you who have no interest in playing the escape game I've prepared a shortcut what would you like to do would you like to take a shortcut and bypass the escape game riddles well what I'm gonna do is actually in the next episode of uh, Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair, as I'm off the screen because I'm like twirling around. Um, we're going to be going to, to take on this escape room. But thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. See you guys then. Bye.